Today on Logan Lee Adventures, Rome has always captured the imagination of those who have sought to define themselves artistically as a place that has kept the historical faith, has carried on the traditions, and maintained the visions of the ancient world when beauty and form and a certain kind of earthly harmony were worshipped as the means by which one partakes of the divine. Welcome to Italy. In these upcoming weeks, I explore my favorite country in the whole world. Yes, favorite. And show you the ins and outs of the Dolce Vita. My boyfriend and travel companion, Yurun, is currently on a holiday with his friends. Yes, a holiday from holidays. So I'll be traveling solo, adventuring in Rome until he arrives for our next Italian destination. Buongiorno Roma! Have made it to Italy and Rome. I just checked into our hotel room and Hotel Bolivar, which is a really nicely well located hotel. This tacky, which I love, Italian style room. Look at this. Look at these bed sheets. And look at this painting <laughs> with the gilded gaudy fame. And then let's do the hotel bed test. Oh, lights up. And with that, let's go explore Rome. Such a calm and serene area with postcards and architecture books on the side and beautiful pope calendars and along all this like lined trees right here down this whole path. The result of 3,000 years of ad hoc urban development, Rome's cityscape is an exhilarating sight. I mean, just, just look at this view. No matter where you are in Rome, whichever nook or cranny, you get incredible views like this. It's 35 degrees out, and on a hot day like this, or any day, whether it's hot or winter, you gotta have gelato. So we got some lime flavor, mango, and kiwi because we're feeling quite tropical. Vatican City, a city-state surrounded by Rome, Italy, is the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church. It's home to the Pope and a trove of iconic art and art. I've been let in into this exclusive area of the Vatican City. As you can see, there's nobody here and there's these police guards that let us in because I'm going to go on a necropolis tour underneath the Basilica of St. Peter's. Look at this place. The Vatican necropolis lies underneath the Vatican City at depths varying between 5 to 12 meters below St. Peter's Basilica. A network of underground graves and mausoleums that were once open air, not to be confused with the Roman catacombs, the Vatican necropolis is the site of many final famous resting places, including that of St. Peter the Apostle. Unfortunately, no cameras were allowed, so this is all I have for you. But trust me when I say if you're in Rome, the necropolis is such an amazing place to explore. Another place that I always return to whenever I have the chance in Rome. Why, hello there. We meet again, St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica. It's like my bread and butter. Learn all about this place in art history class in high school. Still the same since I last visited it. Michelangelo's Pieta was sculpted when he was only 25 years old and it is the only work that the artist has ever signed. His signature is actually sketched onto the sash across the Madonna's breast. I remember learning this piece in art history class and ever since then it has become one of my favorite sculptures hands down of ever. This is the new altar of St. Peter and I was just underneath all of this and we saw his bone as well. Going on a secret tour of 
this castle. Let's see, as you can see, we're actually in this little passageway that is only accessible on this secret guide. This is the passageway that the Pope uses occasionally to get from the castle, as you can see, all the way to the Vatican. Secret corridors, as can you see we have a vault, and upstairs there is another level. Um, we are now five meters high from the level of the ground. It's usually so cool to be exploring all of this. What? We're going this way. Uh, we have a, a council that is um, the border with the Vatican country. So Italy finished over there and starts with the Vatican. Ah, oh, above Rome. Clearly the tour group has left me behind. They're all over there because I cannot stop enjoying views like this. Look at all these private terraces and gardens along this castle wall. This is literally the border, as you can see this gate locking us between Italy and the inner world of the Vatican. And of course the Pope has access to all of this gated passageway. And only on this tour, 60 people per day are allowed to go on. The Castel San Angelo is a towering cylindrical building that was initially commissioned by the Roman Emperor Hadrian as a mausoleum for himself and his family. The building was later used by the Pope as a fortress and castle and is now a museum that we're exploring. For the I get a hard hat. It's official. More exploring. Now to go underneath the dungeon. The room of the dungeon. The dungeons are cut into the Roman cylinder of Adrian. So the half moon that we we saw is the same shape of the theater. The wall, the concrete wall is modern, but imagine the what a castle, am I right? Look at this gorgeous rooftop. Just all green, and then you look out and beautiful city. Whether you're experiencing Rome down below or up high, you can't go wrong with the Eternal City. Ancient icons such as the Colosseum, Roman Forum, and the Pantheon recall the city's golden age as Caput Mundi aka capital of the world while monumental basilicas tells of its history as the seat of the catholic church lording it over its skyline saint peter's basilica right there towers over the vatican testifying to the ambition of rome's renaissance popes and the genius of its game-changing architects elsewhere ornate piazzas and shadowy fountains add a Baroque flourish to the city's captivating streets. I can wander and roam around here in Rome for a lifetime and still see something new. What a 360 view of Rome all the way on top. Look at all this. Just taking it all in. And this cool angel right here with the sword. It's on top of the whole castle. This is Rome and the Romans who live it. A city and a people of contrast and effusion. A place that has lived so many different lives in so many different epochs that all it wants to do is exist in eternity according to the wisdom of what it has learned. The lessons are obvious. Life is to be lived passionately, excessively, 
publicly in bars, restaurants, streets, and piazzas, applying charm and style mixed with a healthy aspect of tradition. Romans have big appetites for theatrical experience as well as exquisite food, and I'm no different when it comes to eating. Case in point, me ordering two different pasta dishes, all for myself, as well as a healthy serving of tiramisu to top it off. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What a day. Now it's time to go up the steps of the St. Peter's Basilica. So there's two options. You can either take the steps or you can take the elevator. But the steps is two euros cheaper, not much of a difference. But I figure that would be just like the old times and also it would be more of an experience and hopefully see something cool. But I haven't seen something cool yet. I think there will be windows coming up. So let's see. Here are the windows. Hmm. In this city of outstanding churches, none can hold a candle to two St. Peter's, Italy's largest, richest, and most spectacular basilica. Its lavish interior contains many spectacular works of art, including three of Italy's most celebrated masterpiece, Michelangelo's Pieta, his soaring dome, and Bernini's 29 meters high baldaction over the papal altar. Made it all the way up. Look at this view. You can see all these people, just like little ants down there. And then you can see the really big details of all these tiles right here. Now going even further up. Can you believe it? Through this tight space. Vatican City is the smallest country in the world. Yes, it is a country. It's encircled by a two mile border within Italy. And Vatican City is an independent city state that covers just over a hundred acres, making it one eighth the size of New York Central Park. Vatican City is governed as an absolute monarchy with the Pope at its head. Symbol of the Catholic Church and of the city of Rome is the main dome right there, an impressive work designed by Michelangelo himself. This is a place that I've learned in high school and middle school, the architecture, the art behind, the significance of history and religion, and I'm on the roof now. So much has happened on the first day in Rome and more to come. Subscribe, give this video a like and leave me a comment because this is just the start of the Italian adventures.